What is a series and parallel circuit by kscience.com? In this video, we're going to go through the key differences between a series circuit and a parallel circuit. Here is a cell with the positive terminal on the left and the negative terminal on the right. Connected to this cell is a wire, a lamp and a closed switch. They are all connected in one complete loop. That is what makes a series circuit. A series circuit is when all the components and wires are connected in one complete loop. Electrons are repelled by the negative terminal. The electrons flow through the metal wire and components flowing around the circuit in one complete loop. As this is a real circuit, the electrons flow from the negative terminal of the cell around the circuit to the positive terminal of the cell. This is known as the electron flow. Below this real circuit is the circuit diagram. Here we have the cell, the lamp, and the closed switch. We know from a previous video about electron flow and conventional current that when working with a circuit diagram, conventional current goes from positive to negative. Conventional current goes from positive to negative. So in a series circuit, we can see that current goes from positive to negative. Around the circuit and then back to the negative terminal. Current flows around the circuit in one complete loop. Remember, this represents the conventional current. The above circuit is an example of a real circuit. And below this real circuit is a circuit diagram. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to go through what a parallel circuit is. And to start with, we have our cell. Here are two lamps which are connected in parallel to the cell. Here is a junction in the circuit where the circuit splits into two different loops. The cell which stores the chemical energy pushes the electrons out of the negative terminal. The electrons flow towards the junction where half of the electrons flow down one route and the other half flow down the other as the electric current splits in half at a junction. These electrons continue flowing down their different routes. When they come to the junction, the electric current becomes the same as which left the cell. These electrons flow back into the positive terminal of the cell to begin the cycle again. The electric current is the same again compared to the electric current which started coming out of the negative terminal of the cell. In a parallel circuit, the electric current can take different routes due to the different loops. Whereas we can see in this series circuit, there is only one loop, so the electric current can only take one route around the circuit. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In this circuit diagram of the parallel circuit above, we can see how the current flows out of the positive terminal and when current flows towards the junction, the electric current splits in half. Current take two different routes until they meet again at the next junction, when the electric current then becomes the same as it originally was at the beginning. The electrons flow back into the negative terminal of the cell current flows back into the negative terminal of the cell and we know this is the conventional current as we're working with circuit diagrams so in a circuit diagram that current always flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal so we can see in a parallel circuit 
the electric current can take more than one route around the circuit due to the different loops and junctions. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.